Welcome to the Creation Today Show, where we bring together interviews with experts and solid Bible teaching. Your host, Eric Hovind, affirms the ultimate authority of God's Word, the truth of creation. Okay, guys, I got like six minutes left. Do you guys have any other nuggets you want to share or do we want to go to big picture? What do we do with this? I mean, what are my partners? How do they take this and use this? What's the practical way for them to actually use this out on the street or on social media? Or, I mean, you're throwing all these great slides up. You got all this stuff. Maybe it's share this program. Hey guys, share this program on your social media. But any more nuggets that you're like, oh, on Y chromosome or mitochondrial DNA or human population, I need to throw this in real quick as well. Yeah, I'll add this then, Matt, maybe you can touch on the fossils. Because if evolution is true historically, Eric, you don't have what's called random mating. You actually have tribes existing within themselves, interbreeding, intermarrying within themselves, right? You're not going to have random mating between people in Australia and America or Europe. So what this means is if evolution's true, we should find multiple mitochondrial DNA lineages, multiple Y chromosomal DNA lineages, because you have all these different separate tribes and groups. So you shouldn't find the one single mitochondrial DNA lineage, which we do find. You shouldn't find the one Y chromosomal DNA lineage. And going right back to the beginning of this program, once you bring in the chimpanzee Y, which they say is our closest cousin, those Y chromosomes should be a lot more similar if we're related. So wait a minute, every single male Y chromosome on the planet is nearly identical. There's only a few mutations in that DNA compartment. The mutation rate's fast. And when you bring in the chimpanzee Y, they're nothing alike. As we've seen, it's less than 30% the same. It's, it's not fitting with evolution. Wow. Fossils, Matt? <laughs> yeah, fossils are another thing. Um, they actually go, well, look at early stone use, right? We find some early stones and then we find over 2 million years, they're still making stones. That's basically all they ever did, except for, you know, <laughs> don't do nothing for 2 million years. That's that's their rescue device. It's called the evolutionary rescue device from argument from silence. There's no evidence, but that's because, you know, they were hunter and gatherers. Basically, they were too dumb to do anything over millions and millions of years, but they were smart enough to build boats. They were smart enough to build terra amadas. They were smart enough to make art, but don't worry. They were too dumb to figure out how to put a seed in the ground and watch it grow for <laughs> 2 million years. <laughs> yeah. Remember they admit Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, Heidelbergensis, you name it. Even the secular scientists admit that these were sophisticated people groups. Neanderthals were, were buried their dead. They uh, sailed in the open waters. They fished for tuna. Uh, some would admit in the conventional literature that Homo erectus could speak. He could sail. Here's the thing. Homo erectus. Eric, they say, according to their model, paleoanthropologists, that Homo erectus is the most successful human hominin on the planet, existed for somewhere between a million and two million years. Okay, if they existed on the planet for two million years, where's all the dead bodies? There should be billions of dead bodies, Eric. Did you know that we can fit every single Homo erectus fossil in the trunk of a car? Where is the evidence for this, this so-called evolutionary history? Where's the campsites? Where's the grave sites? Where's the bones? They don't exist because their history wow. doesn't exist. John is saying that. Another point, if we're 300,000 years old and we have ruins supposedly 40,000 years old, what, are, what were all the humans doing for those silent 260,000 years? <laughs> That's saying what you were saying, man. It's like, yeah, just nothing to do, man. And yeah, nothing. Uh, oh. <laughs> 